happy to hear that. You had me worried there for a while. <laughs> I might not look it, but I'm a pretty tough toad. And I'm pretty hungry, too. I was just looking for Lily, hoping she could cook me up some of her famous fire fry stew. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Frogger, get home safe and sound, you hear me? See you soon, little buddy. I don't have a smart ass comment for the beginning of this one. Hello people, what is going on? I'm Jake Seacob and welcome back to Let's Play Frog's Adventures The Rescue. Last time we, we began the fourth world and today we're going to finish it. And whatever boss it may have. I don't, I'm having the hardest time remembering this one. I don't know why. Every other boss in the game I can remember. The ones I've played. As I said in like the last episode, but this one, this one, I just don't know. How do I get over there? Okay, I, I understand, I get it. No, I don't. Okay, I'll... I want to say it's... T-Rex. Like, that's my gut feeling. I mean, like, there's two... I feel like... <sighs> I'm just gonna fuck around with this shit. <sighs> um... I feel like this would be a T-Rex boss would be kind of suitable, but at the same time, I don't know. What the fuck do I do? You have to move it over and then move it up. But the problem is, <gasps> no, that, would, that still wouldn't work. Okay, that's how that works. Too bad I couldn't figure that out myself. The first time, rather. Not like I got help. Besides, I'm, again, this is like the only let's play this game in existence on YouTube. I can understand why. No! Enemies with ridiculously large hitboxes! And that move at different speeds! This is the thing with this game. The hitboxes are terrible on every single level! Like, you saw in the last level how the beavers, like, their tail is still part of their hitbox. For those raptors, I'm pretty goddamn... I'm pretty goddamn sure their tails are still their hitbox. I don't want to do this level again. Tr 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 Triceratops? Tails are still part of the hitboxes. Hitboxes, hitbox! <laughs> I don't even know. Hitboxes, thy name is Frogger's Adventure the Rescue. That is a terrible name. Who the fuck came up with the name for this game? Seriously. Okay, this is this entire platform is fucking pointless. Yes, I am irritated. No, I will not go on that. I, 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 you know, I've noticed like a trend is that I always feel like I'd be in a, when I'm like in a good quote unquote mood to record, and then when I actually record, it's like, eh. By the way, that was actually a really close one. Um,. I don't know. It feels like 
I'm actually surprised I made that. I don't know how to explain it. It's sort of bittersweet. I don't know. Like, it's fun to do. I enjoy playing it. But sometimes I'm just like gen genuinely not in the mood to record. Also, hitboxes! Fucking huge. Timing! Timing is key! And I have no sense of timing! I... Uh, I just need an extra life. And soon! What was the point of this? Oh. Hello there. Okay, how do I want to do this? Okay. She's gonna get it over to that extra life without fucking up. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I regret- I'm going to regret saying that in a matter of seconds. I am willing to bet. There we go. And now... Why was I waiting for that? How much is an entire thing as bonus? Whoa. <laughs> so, um, I just stood on that for an extended period of time for no fucking reason. Why did I do that? This is gonna be one of those levels. You know, those levels that you would just look back on and be thinking, oh fuck, this place. Yeah, this... That is this place. So in this entire fucking place is the bonus. And I get hit. Game of ladies and gentlemen! Because my game is Frogger's a Fetch the Rescue! And I confuse the shit out of you fuckers who play this game because you're stupid. And I have voice acting that is either hit or miss, with either really good or really bad. Really only one good and everything else is really fucking terrible. Because, you know, no one even wants to fucking play this game. Who would? It's a game about Frogger. No. Why would you ever do this sort of stuff? You know that people only care about shooting things. I know this game was made back in 2002, but I do not care. <clears throat> because you know, kids only want to shoot shit nowadays. They don't care about the adventure. They don't care about your platformers. They don't care about your speed. They just want to see how 360 no scope fucking 420 smoke we every day shit you can do in a single match. As you know, that's what happened to the gaming industry. Shooters dominated the everything and everything that isn't a shooter sucks. Because Pokemon is for kids. And Black Ops in Call of Duty is for real manly men. Yes, I have lost my mind. <sighs> Levels like this that just pissed me off. It's doing the whole thing over. Getting killed in one hit. I can I can I can deal with it to an extent. Having to do very long levels completely over from the beginning. I cannot deal with. That's why I like my lives plentiful. I like my lives frequent, like them plentiful, and I like them easy to get. This game does not does not cater to any of it. Despite of what when I said like they were nice kinda about the lives in this game, 
Oh, I was clearly doing some shit. It's a note back then. Nope, they do not give you lives at all. And if you have no sense of timing, you are fucked so hard with a rusty pike. And sometimes you just play heads or tails with the game, seeing if you can actually survive doing a certain jump or something. Moving, moving into your, moving on this sort of platform makes me feel like it's going to glitch up and I'm going to end up going one space too far or one space not far enough. You should never have to experience that. That feel of uncertainty if the game is going to decide to want to screw you over. <sighs> I don't even know anymore. This game is stressful to me. Any game that requires in a large amount of patience is stressful. Which sounds, as weird as it may sound, it is stressful for me to be forced to slow down and take my time. Especially like when I've been watching, um, when I've been watching speedruns of games and playing, like, not just watching games being sped run, speed ran, just actual speedruns in general. I've, I enjoy doing things really quickly. Especially, like, faster than they're supposed to do. But, this game, you literally have to take your time. And if you don't, you're screwed. I don't like this mentality. A lot of people might, because, you know, the game developers put a lot of focus and time into this game, and you should, you should respect it. And only do yada 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 insert bullshit you don't care about here. But really, like, it's hard to do anything that isn't just directly. It's hard to do anything in general in this game. The controls are not the best. And if you're like me and you like doing things, you get impatient. I apologize for that whole minute of lack of commentary. Apparently, every phone in my house, regardless of what room you're in, regardless if the phone you in you have in this in your current room is off or silent or whatever, you will hear it from any room in the fucking house. Like, even the answering machine. You could, uh, that, uh, the reason I didn't have commentary was because if I could hear it from here. And if I can hear it, the mic can hear it. The mic can hear it pick up a lot of shit. Ugh. How the fuck do you do this? Suicide! How much backtracking do I have to do? Not as much. It's shit like this. 
that makes me hate this game now. Why I chose to LP it? I don't know, because I have fond memories of it and shit. You apparently like do playing a really stupid game when I'm when you're a kid. Regardless of that's the thing like with a lot of games, you can only enjoy it if you're someone if you can only enjoy it under certain 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 circumstances. Thank you for being able to speak, Jacob. Please come again. <sighs> this is only really enjoyable if you're in if you like know the layout, know what the fuck you're doing, and that sort of stuff. I applied to none of those categories. Okay, what is it, 10 minutes? How was that the fastest one? I don't get it. What is this, boss? Frogger is running one of your strengths. If it's a foot race, I'm your frog. Oh god. Is that so? In that case, good. Run is what you must do. What? What's up ahead? Farewell, Frogger. May our paths cross again. I swear, if I'm actually right for the whole tri tri Tyrannosaurus thing, I will be so happy. I quit. By the way, that's Ninja Frog. We saved him um, around the same time range. We... Hey, buddy, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be one of those bosses again. One of those run to win sort of boss. Does that make any sense to you? No, it doesn't. What if I just ran up normally? Would I die on the first thing? Let's try that. What the fuck? Uh, is that an earthquake? Oh my god, I was right! Oh shit! No! Stop! What the? How do I do? What? How do I boss battle? This seems. What? What is this boss? I don't even. I... How do I provide commentary for this? How? You don't. You don't provide commentary for this. You have to focus... Ah! Oh! I don't... I can't begin to... By the way, that Tyrannosaurus looks fucking terrible. Just thought I'd point that out. It. You know what else bothers me about this? It takes away your controls many times. Like, while it's catching up, you will lose all control over Frogger. I don't like that. Like, I understand, like, you want to have, like, a bit of a cutscene, but... When it's done like that, I don't like it. Because it's impossible to tell what is cut. It just catch. Oh, I'm sorry. 
How the fuck am I supposed to learn about those spike things? Ugh. Oh. I... I cannot provide commentary for this. I apologize. Please enjoy whatever music I decide to put here instead of this generic stuff. Interrupt your apparently good music section to bring you this message. How the fuck does a fruit explode? I don't like this, boss. Okay, I am now back from, I hope you enjoyed the, you know, the little music break, I don't know what I exactly I put there, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Hope you enjoyed it, but I'm actually hope here to actually give commentary this time. Pretty much, this is a boss of memory. Something you should never have to do. Make a boss that involves memorizing a pattern. It's like, that's, doesn't, it's not like it tells you the pattern. It's not like it's different, it's the exact same fucking pattern done every single time. It's the point of a, like my interpretation of a boss battle is to test your skills on the game. But when you have to pretty much memorize what the boss does, it just feels it doesn't feel right. Am I the only one who feel, who thinks like this? Also, running straight forward for this is probably your best thing to do. Again, well, like when these stuff, when they don't give you controls for a certain period, it just feels really wonky. Because you know, it there's like barely any difference between the screen, like how the screen looks when you have controls and when you don't have controls. Fuck. Like, I would understand if maybe you would, like, see that? It'll just throw that up and raise it back down. It's a slight difference, and it's not very noticeable. I would just rather have controls at all times. I don't know why they would stop it. Because, not like you can go any further without uh, Rex over here showing up. You need Rex. Why would you take away controls, even for a brief moment? It just seems redundant. Oh, so the whole point of a fucking memory boss is stupid. Also, why doesn't the Tyrannosaurus Rex just kill me now? Like, in the first instance, he had the perfectly, perfectly good chance to kill me. And he didn't. Also, how the fuck does that even work? Oh, by the way, it's a robot. How do you bite into a fruit and it explodes? 
No, I, I, I refuse to believe that. Like, you can bite into a fruit and suddenly it just fucking explodes all over your robot. I refuse to believe it. I know questioning logic in a video game is stupid because it's a video game, they can do whatever they damn well please, but I, ha I refuse to believe this part. I don't know why I transferred it. That was like the worst thing I could have done. I thought so. Like, Ninja Frog told you at the beginning of the, before the fight, it, what you must do is run. And it's hard to run when it stops you every few steps. And it's in general, and like, does not give you a firm sense of timing. I HATE THAT SPOT! I am so done with this. If you- if you're someone like me and you want to get into game design, never design a boss like this. Ever. It, it's not a good idea. Having a boss that's completely based, even a game that depends completely on memory is something that I don't like. Like, I get, like, no, I'm not meaning, like, any game where... Where something is based completely on pl an experience playing the game before it. I find this a really stupid idea. There. Boss is done. Super effective? Question mark. Well, um, yeah. thank you guys so very much for watching. I'm, next time we're going to do the next world, and uh, I don't know. I'm Jake Jacob. Peace. Five minutes, really? <laughs> Farewell, my first friends. Lily, what is Lily doing there? Witness my newfound power before you meet your doom! needed now is the energy regulator. If we can find the blue stone, then the world will be ours.